Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about SQL Server login issues. So this is very common issues uh, while uh, people are logging into the SQL Server Management Studio. So let me show you how to overcome that particular issue when you get the login issues. So first of all, let me show you what is the issue I am getting. So let me go to the SQL Server Management Studio. So here this is the uh, uh, window. It will help me to log in into the particular server version. So here my server name is dot slash SQL 2012. So I am trying to log in with the Windows authentication. So it may take a while because it is getting failed. So let's wait for a while so that you will see the error message. Yeah, if you see this, so this error message clearly says that cannot connect to dot slash SQL 2012. The additional information is the network related or network specific error occurred while establishing a connection to the SQL server. So the server was not found or was not accessible. So verify that the instance of instance name is correct and that the SQL server is configured to allow remote connections and all. So system cannot find the file specified. This is the final error. Then how to overcome this kind of errors. So when you try to connect to the SQL server in your computer or in your uh, workplace. So let's go to the services. Let's go to the run and type the services.msc. So let's click on OK. So there, let's check for the SQL Server service. So let me sort based on the alphabetical order so that it's very easy to identify. So let me type yes. Yeah. If you see here, so there I need to see the SQL Server which belongs to this particular instance. I have two instances of SQL Server on my machine. So that is the reason why I have SQL Server MS SQL Server. That is the default instance. And the other one is SQL Server SQL 2012 within the bracket. That is the instance name. If you see the SQL Server 2012 instance is not running in my PC. That is the reason why I am not able to connect to the SQL Server through SSMS SQL Server Management Studio. Now let me start it. How to start this? Right click on this and click on start. So once you click on start, it may take a while to start it. Yeah, if you see, so this instance has been started. So now you can refresh this and let you can you can cross verify this. Yeah, it is started now. Now let me go back to the SQL Server Menu Studio. Let's click on OK this and click on connect again. So once you click on connect, so now it is connected. If you see this, now it is connected. So this is how we are going to overcome. So when you get a login issues which are related to the instance, that's it. Thank you for watching.